JUMP has a very large research profile right now, and all of our research that we conduct here at JUMP crosses many different mechanisms. We have usability studies, we have translational studies, and we have educational research. And one of those educational research projects that we have right now is the sedation project. The sedation project is a study with Dr. Tudor as lead investigator, and in this study we're conducting an assessment of emergency medicine residents and their ability to run a sedation on a pediatric patient, or a mannequin in this case. We're taking emergency medicine interns and we're having them do a pediatric procedural sedation. They would do it exactly as they would in the ED, and then afterwards they're randomized in two different debriefing scenarios. The debriefing process is a time intensive and it's a faculty intensive endeavor to appropriately debrief learners. So my question was, is there a way that we could debrief learners given simple cases using video self-debriefing with a checklist. We're trying to analyze whether video self-assessment is just as good as standard debriefing. Video self-assessment is watching yourself on camera as you have performed this procedure and assessing yourself according to a checklist. And that checklist comprises of every various stage of the procedure. You know, if you can do something and then watch yourself how you did it, I think it's easier to remember how you did things and you can streamline things in the future. I think it's important for several reasons. Number one, uh, the concept of uh, trying to preserve resources in uh, especially faculty resources. Usually standard debriefing involves everyone that would be in the room at the time that a procedure takes place. And so it can involve the physician, the nurse, a medical student, or any other participant that may be in on that patient's care human resource allocation in a center like this. There's a fixed operating cost, and so if you can lower the faculty cost, it's a tremendous saving given if you can maintain an equal learning uh, environment or learning experience. We're hoping within the next year to have enough data to start uh, some uh, final analysis. We did an interim analysis and the data looks promising. Currently our interim analysis, we have discovered a few different things. We've discovered that one, faculty and resident self-evaluations and the debriefing evaluations are similar. What we don't know yet is are they similar enough? Can we say without a doubt that video self-assessment is just as good as standard debriefing? We're not there yet. So what we'd like to do is continue to take on some more cases. We'd like to run through the sessions a little bit more, gather a little bit more data, and then we can analyze our results. I think there's some, some pretty big stakes that uh, are at hand and play if, if our study were to succeed. One of the things that you don't anticipate with research is what the other outcomes are to the study. And one of them is what we see in the clinic. Now we see residents that are more confident with the actual sedation procedure. And we see residents that are more engaged and involved than we did before. And they're saying it's because they've gone through this session. I felt the debriefing was useful in terms of identifying points to improve on and uh, identifying what I could work on and sort of explaining what my thought process was so we could figure out why I did certain things. A lot of times on a shift it's hard to get feedback immediately and you know we're busy or attending sometimes doesn't have time to go through things with you so here it's it's gratifying to be able to see like the fruits of your labor, see how far you've come. I just think that overall research is a great mechanism for us to identify information that we can take back into the clinic and maybe identify some of the gaps that may occur and fix those gaps through simulation. I'm just very happy to be a part of this study. I'm happy to have it at jump. I like the mannequins here because they're really realistic. Um, they feel real, they actually interact with you. It's, makes it more believable as a real case. It's a fantastic setup.